Hello and welcome to Frederick Bremer School. I'm Jenny Smith and I'm the head teacher. Hi, I'm Leo. Hi, I'm Naomi. And we're the head students. And we would like to tell you a little bit more about our fabulous school. Frederick Bremer is a community school in the heart of E17. We're here to do our best for every single young person in this community, to help them become the very best that they can be. I love the unity of this school because it allows me to be the person I want to be. I love that in every lesson I'm pushed to try my very best. So please come and find out a little bit more about what our school offers. Frederick Bremer School was opened in 2012 and we are very lucky to have this state of an art building. But although we are a new build school, we are on a site of rich industrial heritage and this heritage is encapsulated in the design of the school. And you may or may not be aware that throughout the 20th century this was actually a massive Hawker Sidley factory and a hub of employment in this area of Walthamstow. And on this site, huge power transformers were built. These transformers transformed energy from raw form to a usable form and they were sent all around the world from places as far from Abu Dhabi, Argentina and Zimbabwe. And transformers were designed and built here, which were also used to power the CERN project in Switzerland. Therefore, we can proudly say that th this site has helped transform energy around the world. And alongside this history of energy transformation and releasing potential, we have also got the person this school was named after, Frederick Bremer. And Frederick Bremer is not a famous figure in our history, but he does deserve greater recognition. He was a local gas fitter and plumber who was fascinated by pushing the boundaries of what was possible. And in 1894, he invented the first petrol driven car in his back garden in Connaught Road, Walthamstow. And he liked to take this for a drive around the streets of Walthamstow to the shock and consternation of local residents. He never put this design into mass production and never made any money from it, unlike his American counterpart, Henry Ford. He was purely driven by the curiosity of what was possible. So therefore the heritage of Frederick Bremer School and the industrial heritage of this site has been encapsulated in what we do here. Transforming energy and intellectual curiosity, which helps release the potential of every young person to be the very best they can be. When asked to describe Frederick Bremer in one word, people always say the word inclusive. And our commitment to inclusivity is not simply idle rhetoric, it's the heart of what we do all day, every day. Our values are lived and breathed through our commitment to our values of respect, responsibility and integrity. And we believe passionately in developing the character of every young person. And our role is to help them turn from being a child at the age of 11 to an engaged, confident and articulate citizen of the future when they leave this school at the age of 16. We are truly representative of our local community. We are a microcosm of E17, and this diversity is absolutely our strength. We are the most diverse community school I have ever worked in. We have got, um, in terms of ethnicity and language, 42 languages spoken in the school. Our biggest ethnic group, which is white British, is less than 20% of the school population. Pakistani, 14%. We have all different social economic groups represented equally in the school, and our attainment on entry is proportionate across each of the thirds, third high, third middle, third low. Um, we have a large amount of pupils with EHC P plans in the school because we've got a specialist provision for 30 pupils with autism in the school. But they are part of our mainstream school and go to mainstream lessons with additional support from specialist staff. The only area in this school where we do have a significant disparity is in terms of gender, where we have 33% girls to 66-67% boys. That is the effect of having three local girls' schools in this area. However, when you talk to our girls, you would not know that they are a minority in the school. They are confident, they are articulated, and they are very passionate about their place within Frederick Bremer School. So when I say inclusivity is truly at the heart of this school, it is well and truly embedded in our ethos and practice and how we do things around here. At Frederick Bremer School, what your child does in lessons all day, every day, is the most important part of our work. 
and we commit for that for every child who comes to this school is inspired to aspire. They're known, nourished and nurtured and they are safe and supported to be the very best they can be. And it's really important that we focus our attentions on ensuring that every lesson is supported by outstanding teaching and learning. Every lesson, every day, should inspire and develop your child's learning. And we've got a brilliant set of teachers who are specialist subject practitioners, and we invest an awful lot in staff training to ensure that our teaching is always up to date and is always the very best for the children that we have in this school. We spend a lot of time looking at our curriculum, reviewing and auditing it, and ensuring that it delivers our aims. And our curriculum is broad and balanced. So when your child joins us in year seven, they will study the EBAC curriculum of English, Maths, Science, a modern foreign language, and humanities subjects. But alongside this, we have got a wrapped round creative curriculum and technological curriculum to be able to further develop your child's skills and understanding. We are very fortunate to be part of the Music in Secondary Schools Trust. It's a charity funded by Andrew Lloyd Webber and the Wolfson Foundation, which supports the teaching of classical music in every school. Therefore, every pupil here will learn the violin, flute or viola as they join us in Year 7 and to Year 8. They will be expected to take that instrument home and to practice at home and be able to take part in our concerts and performance. Why do we do this and why do we have a focus on a classical music curriculum? Well, we believe and we have seen the impact that learning an instrument has on a young person. They develop not only fantastic musical skills, but there is a huge number of transferable skills that young pupils take to other aspects of the curriculum. Everyone loves music in some form, and what we are doing is training them and grounding them in the skills of that music. Not only by developing great musical skills, like reading music and performing music, but also those skills of practice, 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 performance, being part of a team, listening and responding to the performances of others as well as your own. And these are skills which are transferable across the curriculum and are crucial in all aspects of our learning journey. And we also believe strongly in the importance of a grounding in the creative arts. And creativity, alongside our academic rigour, is at the heart of what we deliver in our curriculum here. If your child enjoys music or has a musical ability, they will have an opportunity to learn a second instrument when they've joined the school and also to have all the benefits of being part of the MIST programme. For example, the Saturday MIST Orchestra, the opportunity to perform on stage, for example, at the London Palladium or the Barbican. Some of our pupils have performed with Nicola Benedetti or in front of Andrew Lloyd Webber. And though we also run residential music schools, there are opportunities for scholarships and bursaries and awards as to being part of that programme. But it's not just for the very best musicians. Every single young person in this school benefits from this MIST programme. And this culminates in a range of events that we run in our school, from the hard work of everyone who takes part in our choir, in our orchestra, in our bands, in our annual music performance and drum performance, which every pupil is enabled to take a part in. When you join Frederick Bremer, you join our family, and relationships are very much at the heart of this school. We have the highest expectation of every pupil and what they are capable of achieving. But alongside this, we have the highest expectations in terms of their behaviour. And we expect pupils to operate the highest standards of behaviour and model our values of respect, responsibility and integrity at all times. As relationships are at the heart of our school, if pupils get things wrong, we expect them to A, take responsibility for that mistake, B, understand why it was wrong, and C, commit to putting it right. We don't expect our pupils to simply do as we say. We want them to become responsible adults, critical thinkers, and own the decisions that they make. So if you're looking for a community school with a strong sense of community and moral purpose, a school that sees your child in terms of their potential, not simply a set of grades. If you're looking for a school that knows, nourishes, nurtures your child to be the very best they can be, then Bremer is definitely the school for you. Thank you.